Well, CDOT, we're learning, is making millions of dollars from people weaving in and out of toll lanes. Oh, yeah. Big money here. Mm -hmm. uh, traffic expert Jason Luber joins us because, Jason, you warned us that this was coming. Uh, apparently, there were a lot of people that did not get that warning. <laughs> no, they, they didn't because it's up to nearly $4 million now, and it takes a lot of those $75 fines to get to $3.7 million officially. That's how much it costs drivers who are caught weaving in and out of the express toll lanes. And it's not just a one-time thing. It's $75 Sorry. every time you cross the double white line. And if you don't pay in the first 20 days, the fine is double to 150 bucks. Now, a good place to spot the cameras is down along C-470. You can see them right there on C-470. The pole cams, the sensors, the artificial intelligence assisted software were set up by the company called Blissway. And that company says the cameras can capture data from the front and rear of a vehicle from multiple angles and locations. And they say they deliver near perfect law, lane enforcement and occupancy validation. The total number of fines is expected to go up when the system is installed along every express lane. I did not see any of the Blissway cameras installed in the gap yet. So when is that going to happen and when will that enforcement start? Well, um, right now we're looking um, sometime later this year um, and we hope to get it done this year. We've only launched the safety enforcement program on a few corridors. And we want to make sure that, you know, we have plenty of practice at it before we try to simultaneously launch tolling and launch uh, safety enforcement. Um, but it'll get there. Tim, about the express lanes, uh, the, this Blissway technology not yet installed in the gap uh, area of I-25 south of Castle Rock. So even though the technology is only in a few places like here along C-470, I-25 up north and also in the mountains, the state has sent out more than 160,000 citation. CDOT tells me that the citations are working. They've seen a vi the violations drop by 60% and they hope it does drop some more. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And, and now near $4 million of yeah. new revenue. What, what do they plan to do with that money? Well, I've been told a couple of times it's likely going to be used for education. They want to yeah. use it for education, for advertising, to tell people not to weave in and out of the toll lanes. They say they don't want the money and they want people just to drive huh. safely. They would rather not collect yeah. any fines, but obviously they are going to collect a lot. They're collecting a lot of fines, yeah. but they say they're going to use it for education. Yeah. Eventually people will get the message. My husband's gotten one. My sister yeah. got one and I told them, watch Jason there Luber you and you would have known. <laughs> exactly. So talking that's about the it message. for months. Yeah. <laughs> How's it looking Jason out there right so now? So for right now, you can see the drive up on the north side. This is I-25 at 144th. That far right, the, the far area on the right there, that is the express lane that the folks are uh, not driving in yet. There goes one person right there. Not Don't cross those double oh, white yeah. lines, Lisa. Oh, yeah. You don't cross the double. And that, <laughs> that what, what it leads to are crashes that we see every single day up there as people are weaving in and out. So that's really what they're trying to prevent are the crashes that we see every morning up north. I get it because you don't expect someone to cross over it, yep. right?